Christian Bale might have to replace Michael Keaton for the Flash movie? <laughs> well, who knows? But uh, that's a rumor coming from Giant Freaking Robot that I read about in Bounding Into Comics. Uh, apparently, uh, you know, recently, uh, Michael Keaton uh, kind of poured water on the whole thing and thought it was a done deal. And he was saying, yeah, I'm not sure about that. He's worried about COVID in England where they would have to uh, shoot the film. And um, says he's been too busy to read the script. Uh, so... <laughs> That's a bit of a problem because they went ahead and showed off this uh, concept art and all that stuff. It seemed like a done deal. And uh, this uh, Flashpoint take for the movie where the Flash would meet alternate universe versions of DC characters. So Ben Affleck right now <laughs> appears to be the only Batman that we know of will be in the film for sure. <laughs> and I imagine perhaps, just perhaps, Robert Pattinson's Batman would show up in there somewhere probably at the end if this is going to be a retcon of the dceu where uh you know it time warps and shifts around and then uh the dceu batman will be the robert pattinson batman going forward uh possibly that's the deal but anyway they wanted to have this sort of celebration of all their warner brothers dc movies so i'm imagining as the flash is running around he's seeing probably through the vortex of the speed force or something, little bits of footage from the Christopher Reeve movies and stuff like that. Uh, some of which they already did with the CW TV shows, only hopefully much better. But anyway, uh, that's part of the deal. But then he would actually interact with Michael Keaton. And then there was all these rumors about Michael Keaton would continue on as an older Bruce Wayne training Batgirl and I, uh, Batman Beyond and all this sort of stuff. Well, that's sounding a lot less likely now uh, than perhaps all they ever could have gotten was him to do a, pretty much a cameo role. Or, or, you know, maybe a little more than that, but that's about it uh, in this uh, Flash film. You know, uh, who knows? But um, uh, now that this rumor comes in that, well, if they can't get him, they'll get Kristen Bale. Now, Kristen Bale... For all intents and purposes, it sounded like he was done with Batman. He did a trilogy, and as far as he was concerned, uh, they completed that story. He's not Batman anymore. His Bruce Wayne at the end of that. You know, he leaves that to uh, his Robin. <laughs> uh, and uh, and that's that. So, but of course, this will be, oh, it's a multiverse thing, uh, blah, blah, blah. And maybe he wouldn't even suit up in it, but he would meet him. You know, the Flash would. Something along those lines. Uh, but um, would he be interested at this point? Well, not a lot has happened for the guy since then, you know. Uh, he got all fat and, and, had, and got makeup done to look like Dick Cheney. It, nobody cares. <laughs> and uh, that was about it. So maybe he's more open to the, the money one could uh, get out of a, a superhero role again. Um, even though it's the same one he's already done. would be interesting if someone were to approach him for some other role. Uh, perhaps they want to nail that down before he talks to Marvel, you know. But, okay, so that's their plan B. But a better plan B would be Jeffrey Dean Morgan. <laughs> Just go full Flashpoint. <laughs> uh, that's what they should have done. They could make use of Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa having the Amazon-Atlantean War. Oh, that would have been so cool. Of course, they would have to recast Cyborg because uh, Ray Fisher burnt the bridge on that. So they'd even have to have a different Cyborg. Or they would rewrite the Superman role, and so Henry Cavill takes his place. As you know, and they, boy, there'd be a lot of people going for that, you know. But probably well, they're just looking for some name cameo people to show up and prop up a film they don't really believe in. And then afterwards, oh, look, Robert Pattinson's Batman now. And then, I don't know, the poor John Boyega. He got screwed over by Star Wars. And looks like they want to screw him over with this so he can be the black Superman in a movie written by a racist. Yeah. Hopefully he'll turn it down. But, uh, well, I don't know. He may not be in the, the position to do it. He may need the role. I don't know. But still, yeah, they're going to screw you over again, buddy. 
So uh, if you get a shot at Green Lantern or something like that, you know, that might be better. But yeah, man, imagine being the poor guy who has to take that role because then it's your face on it, you know. But anyway, yeah, do I talk to Jeffrey Dean Morgan? There's a fandom for it. I know it doesn't do what you want it to do about celebrating all the Marvel. I mean, the Mar Marvel. <laughs> yeah, you still want to be Marvel, but all the, the Warner Brothers uh, past DC films. So I, you know, I guess George Clooney's not available. <laughs> they don't want to remember that he played the role. <laughs> so... But in story wise, but then oh wait, that could, that goes back to Snyderverse, and I guess they want to get rid of Snyderverse, and uh, so having Jeffrey Dean Morgan playing the Thomas Wayne version of Batman from the Flashpoint story, uh, well, they wouldn't want to do. But it would have been a simple means by which they do. They could still, you know, oh we're changing the timeline, and at the end, you know, the Flash thinks he's back into his normal time, and he fixed everything. And he goes to Batman in the Batcave, and there's from behind you see the pointed ears and the cape, and then and then he he goes up to him, and then Batman swings around, and it's Robert Pattinson, you know. And of course, similar to how the comic book ended, where things were clearly different, their costumes had changed and stuff like that. But Batman asks the Flash, "Well, is everything back to normal?" And he stops for a second and says, "Yeah, I think so," you know, because <laughs> he's he loses his ability to remember what the timeline was originally like. So something like that could still happen in this story, albeit very differently, of course, but what it appears to be how they're going to handle it. But still, Jeffrey Dean Morgan would be a better choice in that uh, manner. But again, what they want is someone from the past uh, films that they've had before. And, uh, and with all said and done, Michael Keaton would be the better one of that. But... If he's not available, well, yeah. So uh, maybe they can get Christian Bale back into that suit, but, you know, that all depends on if he's desperate enough. Or <laughs> Other than that, well, I, you know, isn't Walking Dead over? Please say it is. <laughs> so <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan, probably available. So anyway, or scrap all of that and just give us Ben Affleck's Batman. How about that in Deathstroke? That would be great. <laughs> yeah. Well, one can dream, can't they? Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my mini stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.